suffer integer solutions a and b such that square root of a plus square root of b equals square root of 333. Firstly, we should have noticed that a and b are under the square roots. So does it mean the numbers under square roots are always, always what? Always positive or equals zero. That means they are non-negative. So we can get a and b are non-negative. So they are natural numbers. Why? Why are they natural numbers? Because they are integers and they are non-negative. Every non-negative integer is a natural number. So a and b are natural numbers. Then, we have to examine this number, 3, 3, 3. Hmm. Okay, now let's have a look at this lucky number. 333 can be written as 3 times 111. And 111 is 3 times 37. So it is 3 times 3 times 37. And now, 37 is a very lucky number. Why? Because it's prime. It is prime. So now, 3 times 3 is of course 9. So what does it mean? This number, 333, can be written as 9 times 37. And we know that 9 is a square number. It is 3 squared. So that means if 333 puts on his coat, square root of 333, it should be written as square root of 9 times 37. And we know that 9 is, of course, what? 3 squared. So this is what? 3 times 37. It is 3 root 37. We've successfully rewritten the right-hand side as this guy. So now, what does it mean? That means square root of a plus square root of b equals 3 times square root of 37. Now we know that 37 is prime. If this 37 is prime, reflect carefully. The left hand side is a sum of two square roots, and the right hand side is just one square root. So what does it mean? Square root of a has to be written as m times square root of 37, and square root of b has to be written as n times square root of 37. Now another question comes out. Why? Because the left hand side is a sum of two square roots, and the right hand side is just one square root. So that means the left hand side can be simplified. When can it be simplified? When and only when these two square roots are integer multiples of another square root. Understand? For example, square root of 3 plus square root of 5, of course, square root of 3 and square root of 5, both are not multiples of another square root. So this cannot be simplified. This cannot be simplified. It is only equal to itself. So it cannot be written as something times a square root or a square root of something. Then, we have to find out m and n. We know that a and b are natural numbers. So m and n are, of course, are self-evident natural numbers. That means they can be equal to 0. Now, if we add these two guys together, square root of a, oh my god, my pen, plus square root of b equals m plus n, because square root of 37 can be taken out times the of 37. Okay, if we compare these two right hand sides, of course, we can get easily that 
m plus n should be equal to 3. M is 0, n is 3, m is 1, n is 2, m is 2, n is 1, m is 3, n is 0. Zero, three, one, two, two, one, and three, zero. So now for each M and N, there are a pair of solutions for A and B. So now just evaluate them. I'm going to write it here, okay? M is zero n is 0. In this case, n is 3, so square root of b is just 3 times square root of 37. So that means square root of b is square root of 9 times 37, and in this case, b is 333. Or you can actually take it here, of course. And what else? m is 1, that means a is 37. In this case, b is 4 times 37. So it is 1 for 8. Third case is 1 for 8, 37. In our last case, it is 3, 3, 3, 0. So now, how wonderful the method is. Did you get it? Give a thumbs up for more wonderful questions. Subscribe to me. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.